Hi, in this video we're going to show you a free tool you could use to make one or more windows transparent on your computer. So it's called Spooky View. So they have uh, several versions for installers for different architectures and they also have a portable or standalone version, which is what I'm using right here. So once you download it, you just have to double click it to run it. So you might want to run it as administrator just in case there's a window that you want to make transparent uh, that has some, you know, maybe administrative permissions. So that's what I'm going to do here. And then when it's running, it'll be down here in the system tray. You could right click on it, uh, open it, pause it, exit it, go to the settings. And there's only two settings here. One is to start the program when the user logs in and not to check for updates. All right, so it's broken down into apps and windows. So I'll show you how that works here. All right, so let's start with the apps section here. So I have Chrome and Edge running down there. So I'm going to add Edge. So when you click on add, it's going to show you what's running. So if you want to add something that's not running, you're going to have to browse to the executable or you could open it first. Let's try Notepad, for example. Okay, now that we have Notepad open, we click on add and now it's in the list there. All right, so let's start with Edge first here. Minimize this. Okay, and then when you click on it, you'll have the options over here to enable transparency and then have a separate value for an inactive window. All right, so let's uh, bring up one of these windows here. Let me make this a little smaller so we can see it better. Bring this over here. Okay, so we're gonna enable transparency and then you could use the slider here, click on apply, and then you have it like that. And now if we go to the other window, you'll see that's transparent as well. Okay, and that's where this value comes in, separate value for inactive window. So let's leave that at all the way opaque. Let's apply. Let's get this over to the edge here. So you can see when you're on the active window, that's transparent and this one's not. That's what that setting does. So if we turn this off, now you can see that no matter which window we go to, they're both transparent. So you could have separate values for the active window and the inactive window. And then if you change your mind, you could either come back here, slide this all the way over, uncheck this, remove it from the list, whatever way you want to do it. So now those are inactive. All right, so let's add notepad here. Minimize these guys. All right, you got to make sure you click on the right one there. Like so. And then even if we close it and reopen it, it's still going to be transparent because it's in this list here. So you have to come back here and either disable it or close the app and then it'll put it back to normal. And if we do another one, that's transparent as well, unless we go back to the separate value. And then you can see it toggles transparent and non-transparent, uh, depending on which one's active. And of course, you could set the value for this too. And let's turn this one a little higher here. So you can see the active window is less transparent than the inactive window, and that's because I have the inactive window slider more to the left here. Like that. All right, so let's remove this here. Apply, and now you can see they're back to normal. And then we have the window section here, so this could be a little tricky. So if you click on add, it'll show you what's visible here or what's open. So if we open up Notepad, see it doesn't show up, but if I add it here, and then if I click on Notepad after it's added, then I click on Add here, it shows the uh, Notepad window. So let me open another window here. I'll call this Test. 
And now you can see it's a visible window there. I'll click on this one here. Now it's on the untitled window. So this could be used to add transparency to an active window that's up on the screen. So I don't think this is really useful. I think you could, you know, do what you need to do just with the app section here and the separate value for an active window. But this is another option as well if you want to play with that. All right, so as you can see, it's a nice little tool, and, you know, fairly easy to use once you get the hang of what the different sections are for. So it's a nice way to make one or more windows transparent if that's what you need to do. All right, so I'll put a link in the description where you could download Spooky View and you could try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.